While there is continued bickering between different government officials, some people are asking where is President Museveni in all this because he is the appointing authority and therefore responsible for bringing the House to order. General Mugisha Muntu has been cited accusing other party leaders of not developing their parties from the grassroots level. But as he launches his party next week, now the university administration wants students to find better ways of addressing issues rather than striking. Unfortunately, the students claim that the university does not involve them when it comes to decision making. And therefore, with the number of challenges that are yet to be addressed, more strikes might happen in the future. So today I'll be telling you some of the reasons as to why I decided or I chose to quit my job. And uh, this is a question that I've been dodging for the last couple of weeks. Yes, people have been asking me to explain to them what exactly uh, led to my quitting. Yes, to my, uh, of course, I last uh, worked, I think, late last year. And uh, much as I announced recently, I had already quit. And uh, some of the reasons, are, of course, the ones that I'm going to share with you today. For those that only uh, do understand Luganda, uh, do skip, skip in a video, mugende around maybe six minutes or five minutes. I will get to turn the kitakuba wengendo kwa Luganda. For my English speakers, I was telling my Luganda people that uh, they should skip until uh, I think uh, up to around the sixth minute or fifth minute for them to be able to understand because that's when I'll actually delve straight into Luganda. But we all know that uh, deciding to actually quit your job is one of the hardest decisions to make in life. More so when a job is a bit fancy, as many people do describe uh, what my former job was. Yes, many people think, yes, it's a dream come true. Yes, it's a dream come true. But at the end of the day, I found it very, very, very challenging. When I told people that, you know, I was actually leaving, people were like, okay, why why guys it's very normal for somebody to leave a job and we all know that there are so many reasons one of them is not these are not mine but these are general reasons as to why people leave their jobs and i'll also be telling you i'll be giving you an update of how life is without a job and also give you some of the advices why you should leave a job and why you shouldn't leave a job and how or when you should leave a job now um there are so many reasons for uh, as to why people leave jobs one is uh when people get better job offers somewhere, yes, maybe they are, they are promised better pays or better salaries, people do leave their jobs. Health conditions, maybe your health condition doesn't favor you to do that particular job that you're doing, somebody might uh, decide to leave. Uh, bad uh, working conditions, uh, bad employers, there are really, really some employers that nag. So for somebody's mental health or even general health, they quit the job. Uh, also, uh, maybe, uh, unfortunately, this has to also come in. Bad working hours or bad schedules. Like you don't have a clear working schedule, you're working yourself. That could also make somebody to quit their job. Now, this, to answer your question, one of the reasons as to why, and this is the major one, as to why I decided to leave my job or quit my job was because I wanted to concentrate more on my personal businesses. And uh, when I talk of personal businesses, I mean, I don't mean to say that there are two big businesses, but whatever business it is, because the word business in its sense means anything that you're doing that is helping you bring in at least some income. Yes, it's contributing to your net worth. So I decided to quit my job because I wanted to concentrate more on my small businesses or my businesses. I run quite a handful of things. I do quite a, a number of things. Among them, I do YouTubing, vlogging. I do, uh, you know, I, 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 I do farming. It's what I'm venturing into very soon. I do photography. I do videography, documentaries. I do quite a lot, really a lot. Social media marketing and advertising. I'm a PR guru. I'm a... Uh, what can I say? I do quite a lot of things. So I wanted to dedicate most of my time into these small businesses that I was doing to consolidate them into one bigger group. And very soon, maybe, God willing, I'll be launching something very soon to you. Now, uh, 
one of the things that I also realized was I was giving so much uh, my time to the job and by this I don't mean my previous job I mean all the jobs I've had I've held previously and I'm uh, because even after when I left this other job that many of you know I was working with a TV station I got some other TV stations that wanted me to work for them but this time around I said no I won't work for anybody I want to work for myself only I can work with somebody for example if you're a company and you have something that we can work together I don't want to work for you but I want to work with you there, there's a difference when you work for somebody and when you work with somebody you understand like uh, you're not tied to them you understand you come you do your thing you go or maybe it's depending on your arguments there are, there are so many bases of, of working now also one of the things is because I'll, I'll, I'll quote some of the things I've been writing in the recent past uh, about employment and why people should actually quit their jobs. Uh, sorry for those of you who understand Luganda. I've gone into your minutes, but don't worry. I'll definitely speak some Luganda at the end of the day. Now, employment is a very limiting factor to very many young people. These are some of the quotes that I've been writing for myself and I'll definitely be writing either a book or I'll be making a post or I'll be making a video. I don't know, but I'll definitely do that. So employment is a very limiting factor to very many young people because we are paid salaries with limits of our expenses because you're simply surviving on that salary. Uh, uh, the standards of living do change. Most times salaries don't because even now we are under a lockdown but our employers are not looking into that. In fact, some employers, as I have already seen, have started uh, reducing salaries, cutting wages. And I'm like, okay, now this is really, really serious. It's catching up with us. So standards of living change but salaries don't. When you stay long in employment, you develop a dependent syndrome because at the end of the day you're only surviving your job becomes your mother and your father something that is very very bad now a person should have a plan and projection to move out of employment in life you should desire to live but not to simply survive and as a result, I usually tell people that uh, let's promote individual development and help people change their mindsets. Money is supposed to be a gradual system. While it's true that I encourage people to, uh, to work for themselves, it it's also good to understand how money works. You cannot just come out of school and want to accumulate wealth very fast. That's when you crash. But take time, understand your goals, set your uh, desires well and work towards achieving them your job should act as your first step to establishing your company the monies you make should be able to help you uh, actually start up your own thing therefore you should not depend on employment alone that's one of the reasons that's why i said no i think i have worked so much with other companies i think it's high time i started my thing i will be uh, guiding so very many people mostly young people who are planning to quit their jobs and I've you know helped so many I've talked to them I've advised them when they should and why they shouldn't yes because there are times when you shouldn't because if that is the only source of income that you have then it's gonna be really really hard now let me handle the gist of the matter is when do you actually decide to leave and how do you leave now these are two beautiful important questions that we need to ask ourselves before we actually throw in the, the towels now when do you need to leave is when you realize that okay either you have a better job offer somewhere either they are mistreating you poor salary or bad working environment nobody would want that that is when you should say okay enough is enough i think i deserve better but before you do that make it a point that uh, to see that where you're going next there is plan B always have plan B before plan B never quit a job when you don't have another job never quit a job when you've not signed a contract with another company never quit a job when you don't have something else that you've created like you've already started something and it has started bringing in some incomes that is when you should leave but before that please don't because it's suicidal you regret and you may it, it could become one of the worst mistakes that you've done one other key factor is uh, that uh, many people fear to take risks. I usually tell people, take risks. The moment you take risks, that's when risks, anything involving risks, that's the only thing that will get you greater, greater returns. 
greater returns like that is it that is it wake up when you feel like okay this is very risky do it that one the one you feel like okay i can't do this do it because that is what is gonna bring in quite a handful of returns another thing is be calculative when you are leaving a job have a salary or a saving that will take you up to around six months or even a year when you are not in luck or anything make it a point to have it that way any questions please go to the comment section and i'll definitely be replying to those comments as we get along now let me turn to my luganda people but then bagamba ndi na sala wo au kubanti i stop working for or i quit my job wa ensonga zili nyingi abantu ezibale tiro kubanti ba kuitinge milimu jawe gamba nga gamba nga gamba nga omuntu mulwadde aina health problems omuntu aina I know many more people who have been here, who have So, in some cases, and that's one of the reasons that's why people decide to quit. Now, bo quitting, for example, me, I decided to do that. Kuvanga, na yagala nfise yo bude for my personal programs, for my personal projects, for my personal businesses. Ezali zitafuna bude bwange. So nganja gana nziwo vude uh, Nda bikenga nkorantia Nziwo vude Ate jukila by then Chari chimpa chinji You understand Chari chimpa chinji Kusinga ate milimu jena linkola E jari te jimpa chinji So nisara ni nga umanyi Kanchite Nkosa tuetinge kubino Tomanya one day in time uh, Njavayo nange tutumuke Sente zitandi kukola zitia It is very unfortunate Okuranti okola dreams izaba Ano zifutukilide Nga ate zizo Zidi yao zidi zilaying a very idle So it's very important as well uh, To work on your personal Personal uh, goals So Na ye Mba wamu okuwabu lako amirundi ya video Kusoke wako When do you leave a job And how and when And uh, le Maybe we was a bibidi Watu kidoku ganti Okay kati Ndoza Enough is enough I need to quit One Uinoku wangu wafu nyomu ni mewalala Nga temu nunji kukuwa sente nga wasa ninze no contract Echo kubidi Weno kubanga uh, Bintu yo genda Nga bobanga to genda kumulimu mulala Weno kubanga jo genda Watandi kayo Nga tola Utandi shukulama nga kasente kakula katia Kasente kaja Nga unoga oke okay. Kambideke Katika ngende mubino Ntandi kukula chi Kukula sente Toko lange nso vino va kumulimu nga tofunye mulala Toko lange nso vino va kumulimu nga toina uka business Haka gendo kuwa nga sente vili Unaku nechida toko lange nso vi Nga toina u savings Eso holo kutambuza emiezi mukaga Uwa umuaka mlamba Nga toja kueta aga Ngezo savings Mumuaka gunogu na Nga ziso holo kube zao As you look for another job Now those are my two biggest advices And perhaps challenges that I usually find with young people Are you planning to quit? Do you want some advice? Please go into the comment section or write to me at uh, dukesmedia12 uh, at gmail.com. I'll definitely be replying to you as soon as possible. That is what I wanted to share with you. Tomorrow I'll be sharing, of course, uh, another video. Uh, I got an interview with uh, one of uh, my fellow YouTubers. I'll be definitely sharing that. Until then, it's a goodbye. But it has been an interesting journey speaking to you. I hope I won't get those questions again. Until then, have yourselves a lovely time.